In this video today, I'm gonna to be explaining how stopping drinking is just like starting a business. The similarities between the two are just astounding. If you've started a business before or you've ever thought about starting a business, then you will see the similarities between the two and you'll have just never heard it like this before. You'll be like, oh my God, right? that just makes sense. You Just trust me, this video is gonna be completely different. I've never heard anybody talk about this stuff. This is like an original way to look at things. And I do believe that it's gonna help you with developing that worldview to start to see how Go for what it is. So wherever you are on the journey right now, make sure to watch this whole video. Just before we get started, guys, if you do want my help stopping drinking, then there's a short video that you can watch in the description below. It's a training on first principles thinking. After the end of that video, you'll be able to book a call to see if the Sober Clear program may be something good for you. But for now, let's jump into it. The very first way that starting a business is just like stopping drinking is what people do before they get started. And what they do before they start a business is they go to society and they're going to say, listen, I've got this great idea. What do you think of this idea, mum? What do you think of this idea, friend? What do you think of this idea, work colleague? And society are always going to do the same thing. Unless, of course, those people are entrepreneurial, but they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, why what, are you crazy? You know, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to start your business? Do you not like your job? Why would you want to do that? Don't you know businesses fail? Don't you know it's risky? Businesses don't work out. Business is hard. You're not a businessman. You're not a business lady. What do you mean you want to start a business? Now, most people have this worldview that starting a business is very difficult. It's very challenging and it's just almost impossible, right? You've got to be some crazy, high IQ, talented person with just the best idea ever. And that's what you need to start a business. And trust me, because when I first told people I wanted to be a personal trainer before I'd ever done anything, I got the same kind of feedback. Well, everybody's a personal trainer. There's loads of competition. You know, nobody buys personal trainer. Who'd buy a personal trainer? I heard it all and I bought into it. Now, do you not realize the similarity here between that and when somebody wants to stop drinking? The exact same thing happens. Society, mum, friend, colleague, I want to stop drinking. You want to what? You want to stop drinking? Why would you want to stop drinking? Don't you know it's hard? Don't you know it's difficult? You need lots of willpower. Maybe you're the problem. You need to go to see a doctor. You need to go to a meeting. You need to check yourself into rehab. Go to therapy. Revisit the past. The, the point of the matter is, is society are going to tell you that it's hard. It's challenging. You know, you, you can't do it. It's, why would you want to do it? Just the same way that if you wanted to start a business. Because most people view the world a certain way. Most people view drinking as a genuine pleasure, as something that's good, that's very difficult to give up. And why would you want to give it up? The same way that a lot of people view starting a business. Not everybody. The same way not everybody thinks of alcohol is a good thing, but a lot of people do. Do. And a lot of people will tell you that it's hard to start the business and all of that stuff, very similar to alcohol. So that's the first way that stopping drinking and starting a business are related. It's society's idea that gets put to you. And that's the first way. It's this reasoning from analogy is listening to other people and buying in to a worldview that isn't drawn from logical conclusion. It's just drawn from hearsay and all this stuff. Now, the next thing is how do we overcome this? Well, we break things down to first principles. Now, let's first talk about business and then we'll talk about um, drinking. So what does it really take to build a business, right? When we look at the principles, we look at the first principles, we don't reason from analogy, we ignore society, we ignore what most people think, and we just look at the principles. We break things down into its component parts. So what does it take to start a business? Well, it takes having a service or a product that has some demand. It then takes marketing that product or service, it takes selling that product or service, and then fulfilling and delivering that product or service. And there are so many people out there that would pay you to do pretty much anything, right? You can start a business doing cleaning. You can start a business doing ironing, washing cars, right? Coaching, personal training, whatever it is. It's very easy to start a business if you create a business that has a lot of demand to it. And these people that think, you know, you need a big idea. That's what you need to make it in business. You need an, an original idea. Absolute nonsense. All you need to do is find people that are willing to pay you money because they don't want to do something themselves. It's really not that difficult, right? If you can make somebody's life better by having a service or having a product that actually helps that person, then that's all you need. It's really not that difficult. And then the actual things that you need to learn is marketing, is sales, is fulfillment. And maybe like if you're into products, then product development. The thing is, it's not that difficult and it's very easy to learn. There's, there's so much information on YouTube, in courses, in uh, in books, in mentors, in other people. And it's just, it's really not that difficult to start a business, right? Maybe to grow a business to this huge thing is, is a lot more difficult, but to get the ball rolling, to kind of leave your day job and go full-time in a business, it's really Really not that difficult. But because most people have this idea that it is, and this idea that entrepreneurship is all about having one big idea, well, most people never start a business. The exact same way that most people never try to stop drinking because they hold in onto this worldview that it's going to be difficult. So like starting a business just comes down to breaking things down to first principles, it's just literally getting all the component parts, studying them, doing introspection, and then doing what you were going to do anyway. We do the same thing with alcohol. So we start to look at all of the terminology around alcohol. We start to look at all of the component parts 
of the reasons why we think we drink. Which means that we look at things like the conditioning, the marketing, the illusion of it helping us with courage and confidence. And we build, we build this paradigm where we see alcohol for what it really is. The same way that somebody that wants to start a business, does. the person that wants to start a business just ignores society. They ignore this hearsay and this, this general idea that it's difficult. They just look at the principles and they do it. The same way that people can do that with alcohol. They can ignore society and they can look at the principles and develop their own conclusion, right? They just think critically. And the reality is, is despite what you've been told before, stopping drinking can be enjoyable and effortless. Just like starting a business can also be enjoyable and effortless despite what you may have been told before. And like I said, guys, if you do want my help stopping drinking, then make sure to click the link in the description. There's a short video to watch. You'll be able to book a call. And if you click the videos on the screen now, you can learn more about the one thing that got me to stop drinking forever, as well as some of the major benefits of stopping drinking. Thanks a lot.